Welcome to beautiful State Game Land 211. State Game Land 211 is a wonderful place to enjoy the great outdoors. So whether you're here enjoying recreational activities or are working, it's important to stay safe. Staying safe means staying aware of potential hazards in the area, including unexploded ordnance, or UXO. UXO are military munitions that have been primed, fused, armed, or otherwise prepared for action, and have been fired, dropped, launched, projected, and that remain unexploded, either by malfunction, design, or any other cause. Because of past military munitions training in the area, there is the potential for people to come in contact with UXO at State Game Land 211. Fort Indian Town Gap has been an active training installation for more than 80 years. Historical records indicate that Army range fans extended from Fort Indian Town Gap into portions of State Game Land 211. State Game Land 211 serves as a habitat for game animals that are hunted in various seasons. The game lands are also used for a variety of recreational activities. State Game Land 211 was not used as a target area for military training activities. The presence of munitions within State Game Land 211 is the result of unintentional overshots and or ricochets from the former operational ranges in use from 1933 to 1998. The current ranges at Fort Indian Town Gap have been designed by the Pennsylvania Army National Guard to prevent ricochets into State Game Land 211. UXO present a potential explosive hazard to anyone who may come into contact with it. Military munitions are designed to destroy property and hurt people. UXO are dangerous no matter how old they are or how long they have been buried. 37 millimeter projectiles, 75 millimeter projectiles, 105 millimeter projectiles, and 155 millimeter projectiles have been found in State Game Land 211. Visitors, hunters, hikers, and personnel working in State Game Land 211 should always follow one simple site safety precaution. If you didn't drop it, don't pick it up. In the event that you do encounter an item and suspect it is a potential UXO, use the three R's, recognize, retreat, and report. Recognize potential UXO items. UXO can be of several shapes and sizes. It may be lying on the ground, buried in the soil, or hidden under leaves. Any potential UXO found should be considered live and extremely hazardous. Even old UXO that has been buried a long time may be dangerous. Retreat from the potential UXO. For your safety and others around you, never approach or touch the item. If you see something suspicious, stop, step back, and mark the area appropriately for UXO trained responders. If you know or suspect that you have found UXO, Mark the area so that the UXO responders will be able to find the item from the closest access point. If you have a Global Positioning System, or GPS, record the location of the UXO and share that with the responders. Walk away to a minimum distance of 300 feet on the same path you came in on. Do not run. Again, do not touch the item and do not pick it up. Report the potential UXO to the proper authorities by calling 911. I'm in Gameland 211 and I found a suspicious item. Visitors, hunters, hikers, and personnel working in State Gameland 211 should report any suspicious objects that look like UXO and call 911. UXO trained specialists will be dispatched promptly to inspect the item and dispose of it safely. Through the collaborative efforts of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the Army National Guard, and the Pennsylvania Army National Guard, UXO have been removed from specific portions of State Game Land 211. UXO have been identified in specific portions of the game lands and successfully removed and safely destroyed. Additionally, 
munitions debris, such as fragments of military munitions, expended fuses, and empty projectiles, have been found and disposed of properly. Even though UXO investigations have been conducted at State Gameland 211, UXO may be lying on the ground, buried in the soil, or hidden under leaves. Any potential UXO should be considered live and extremely dangerous. Remember to use the three R's, recognize, retreat, and report if you see something suspicious. The State Game Land 211 is a wonderful place to enjoy the great outdoors. Due to past military training activities, UXO may still be present within the game land. To ensure your safety while visiting or working, always remember, if you didn't drop it, don't pick it up, and use the three R's of UXO safety. Recognize potential UXO. UXO come in several shapes and sizes and may only be partially visible. They can still be dangerous. Retreat from potential UXO. If you see something suspicious, stop, step back, and mark the area appropriately for UXO trained responders. If you know or suspect that you have found UXO, mark the area so that responders will be able to find the item. If you have a GPS, record the location of the UXO and share with the responders. Walk away to a minimum distance of 300 feet on the same path you came in on. Do not run. Again, do not touch the item and do not pick it up. And finally, report potential UXO. Hi, I'm out in the State Game Lands 211. All visitors, hunters, hikers, and personnel working in State Game Land 211 should report any potential UXO found to the proper authorities by calling 911. Fort Indian Town Gap takes its environmental stewardship very seriously as we train today's warfighters. We have very strict procedures on the installation when firing live ammo, ensuring all live ammunition fired lands in the impact area. If you find an unexploded ordinance in State Game Land 211, remember the three R's. Recognize, retreat, and report.